was true. Live from the booth, always spits a hundred proof. She bring it to you, words of encouragement. With the funny twist, the feature so like a nourishment. While you're listening, I hope you catch a feeling, cause Tina talk truth about whole truth. Tina talks truth. Welcome to the Tina Talks Truth Show. I'm Tina Levine, your host. And I don't know about you, but if I was handed a blank check, what would you think would be on it? Hmm. Well, unfortunately, this is from my checking account, so it's not going to be much. <laughs> but let me just tell you about this movie I can only imagine. Talk about a blank check. You know, Jesus actually gave us a blank check. Uh, when we accept him and his salvation for us, it is unbelievable. The gifts that we get, but also the gifts that others receive. This movie is just so heartfelt. It, get your tissues, that's what I'm going to say. Get your tissues because this movie is just unbelievable. It's very emotional, but also it just shows like so much hope and redemption and how a monster can actually be transformed into a best friend um, between this father and this son and their relationship is totally restored. My special guest today is actually the director, John Irwin. He's with Irwin Brothers Entertainment and this movie is just remarkable. I encourage you to go out and see it March 16th, 316, get it? Pretty cool. Here's John and I. It's an amazing song. Just kind of happened. Took about 10 minutes, I guess. Bart, you didn't write this song in 10 minutes. Took a lifetime. How'd you do this? You know, I've never told anybody my story. When I was uh, 11 years old, life was tough. Where's Mama? She's gone. She don't want me no more. And she don't want you neither. And I've always loved music. And I found some songs that I just, I held on to. They gave me hope. Mercy me, that can't be his real voice. Because I needed it. Dad, I can do this. No, you can't. And you're going to blink your eyes and you're going to realize that life has gotten you nowhere because you chased some stupid dream. I can only... I'm leaving, Shan. Like. I want you to know that I pray for you all the time. When I want... And I hope that you find whatever it is that you're looking for out there. What are you running from? My dad. Then write about it. Let that pain become your inspiration. I got some stuff I need to sort out. And I deal with it the only way I know how. And that's to write a song. You hungry? I uh, set the table. What is this? I want to make things right. <laughs> you and me. My dad was a monster, and I saw God transform him. You have a gift, real gift. I didn't think that God could do that. And so I wrote this song for my dad. Our special guest today is director John Irwin with Irwin Brothers Entertainment. And we are going to discuss, oh, I knew I should have got tissues. Oh, <laughs> the song alone makes me cry every time. But I tell you, as soon as the movie started, whoo! So we're going to discuss the new movie, I Can Only Imagine. Hi, John. Thank you so much Hi. for being here. <laughs> It's a tear jerk. It's it's one of those movies where, uh, yeah, it'll 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 bring you to tears in a good way. Yeah, uh, it's a very powerful story, and a very powerful song. I think we've all shed a tear of hope 
uh, and joy when we've listened to the song I Can Only Imagine, and I think the movie does the same thing. Absolutely. So I'm glad you have that reaction. That's good. And the movie is just <laughs> going to make me cry even more now when I hear the song. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it is unbelievable. Yeah. Um, the song I Can Only Imagine is actually with Bart um, and Mercy Me uh, is the yeah. band, and it was their number one for years, and you're probably well, still. They just, actually, they just won uh, Music Vid Songwriter of the Year and Music Video of the Year at the Dove Awards again. <sighs> So, which is great timing for us. I'm like, yeah. did you guys plan this? But uh, they, they're just one of those enduring bands that keeps uh, coming back, you know, for, for, for years. And, uh, and even their song, Even If, this year was number one for 21 weeks. And so they're a great band to work with. But there's something spectacularly unique about this song. This uh, is the best-selling, most-played Christian song of all time. And uh, by far, their 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 biggest hit. Even on secular and, uh, radio, that's an incredible right? Story. On secular radio, radio as well. It was really that. popular. Not, it not only charted on, uh, it not only became the, the, the most popular and, and most played Christian song in America, but then it charted on country and pop charts as well. And, and, and on many top 40 stations, uh, there was somebody that wrote into the Facebook page that they were, uh, and Bart shared her story actually in a video, they were going to, on their way to commit suicide on a bridge, listening to a top 40 station, oh. and it just so happened that I could only imagine was the number one most requested song on this secular station. And playing that song on a top 40 station saved her life. And so, and there's a lot of stories like that. And, and uh, so it's amazing to see how far this song went. And even Tamla Mann, the gospel artist, recorded a version and it became the number one gospel song. So it's, it's a song that's touched us all Absolutely. and uh, in, in very profound and emotional ways. And, and who, who knew that there was such a incredible story uh, behind the song? And I think once you know the story, behind the song, it'll it'll move you even more. Absolutely, this is a movie that is about forgiveness, hope, mm -hmm. r redemption, it is unbelievable. The actors and actresses were just incredible. Great, yeah. And, and I love Dennis Quaid, I was like, okay, I wanna like love to hate him, and then love him again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you, know? you love to hate him and love to love him, and you can never take your eyes off of him. I mean, yeah. he's, a, he's a Hollywood icon in his own right, and his first movie was in 1976, oddly enough, with Cloris Leachman, who's in this film as well, yes, Academy Award winner. Love and her. I love Mary Tyler Moore, one of the great shows of all time. And, uh, you know, I think that uh, one thing's interesting thing that he said was that uh, he had never played transformation on film like this before. That what got me involved in this, in this song and this story, uh, my brother uh, is very good friends with Bart and has been for many years. And, and Bart was telling us that there could possibly be a movie. So we started saying, what's the story? and looking into it. And I remember vividly when I asked Bart, Bart, if I were to put a gun to your head and say, is God real, what would you say? And he said, absolutely. And I said, how do you know? And he said, because of the, of the transformation I saw in my dad, I watched the monster become my best friend and the man I wanted to become. And there, there's just no other explanation for it than God's work in his life. So Quaid performing that, the transformation in his character over the movie, not only is it incredibly well done as an actor, but I think it brings hope to a lot of people that there's just nobody beyond God's grace and redemption. There's no relationship beyond God's redemption. And, uh, and it, that's a pretty spectacular thing. So I, uh, I love working uh, with Dennis. He's a great guy as well as being a great actor. And, and it's, he joins a great cast. I mean, uh, uh, you know, this is our, this is our uh, second rodeo with Trace Atkins. I love him. I think he's fantastic and really good. And, and, uh, 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 Priscilla Shire, this is her first movie since War Room, and, and she plays the teacher that discovers Bart's talent. Uh, Madeline Carroll, who's Bart's future wife, is, is amazing. She was first discovered as Kevin Costner's daughter in Swing Vote when she was 11, and she's the most on-fire Christian I've ever met uh, in the business. And, and, uh, but it was all about finding the right Bart. I mean, that, that's what galvanized the project, and it was so cool to see how God provided. I was in uh, New York. And, uh, and went to see Les Mez. And the actor, uh, uh, John Michael, was the understudy to Jean Valjean. And yet, the real actor that played, because it's one of the most difficult vocals on Broadway, uh, uh, J. Michael took over half the performances as Valjean. Uh, and hearing him sing those iconic songs like Bring Him Home was amazing. Come to find out, he had just submitted an online audition to I Can Only Imagine. He's a pastor's kid from Missouri, and he saw... Mercy Me played three times uh, oh. in high school. So talk about a needle in a haystack. This yes. is his first movie, but he has the best natural instincts of any actor I've ever worked with. It was unbelievable. And, and Andy did a great job uh, directing him. 
Absolutely. Well, and I know that you and Andy are directors, but I tell you, it's amazing how God is the ultimate director and he just oh, orchestrates one, it all. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> because yeah. I mean, really the actors and actresses, I mean, it was perfectly aligned with the story. It was just awesome. We all showed up, but I tell people a lot of the projects I've worked on before, are like pushing a rock up a mountain. This project has been like being strapped to a rocket and just being, <laughs> you know, trying to trying to guide it as best you can, because God just has a, a, a will for this project to happen. And and uh, and there's just been miracle after miracle that have made this movie come to life in a way that's far beyond anything that we could have imagined. And and uh, and I can't wait for people to see it uh, in theaters nationwide starting March 16th. This has been a very, very special journey for us and, and a, a film that I think will bring hope to a lot of people. Absolutely. Thank you so much, John, for taking time to be on the Tina Talks Truth Show. And we can't wait for March 16th for everybody. You got to go see I Can Only Imagine. Incredible movie. Well, I want to say thank you. You, you. you know, Andy and I say we have the coolest job in the world. And uh, anyone that promotes our films or watches our films, I mean, we work for you, you know, it's, it's, you, you let, you let us get to do this and uh, what an amazing opportunity to tell stories for a living that can change people's lives. And, uh, we couldn't do it, uh, if people didn't go see him. So if you keep, you keep talking about them and go see them, we'll keep making them. Awesome. And we appreciate the relationship. Thank you. Thank you for your obedience too, to God. All right. God bless you. All right. God bless we'll you. We'll see, see you at the movies. Okay. Take care. Thanks. Bye. -bye.